Are you trying to decide which Prism Road lens is best for you? Today, we'll be taking a look at Prism Road, Prism Road Jade, and Prism Road Black so you can find the best lens for your specific needs. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Andrew, the Oakley brand expert here at SporterX. And before I get into lens details, there are a few topics I'd like to cover with you. And the first one is Prism. Now, if you haven't heard of Prism, it's Oakley's contrast enhancing lens technology, and it works through the use of specific dyes in the lenses that filter out the more noisy colors while boosting the colors that your eye is more sensitive to. And what this does is it just makes all the details and contrast in your environment just pop with color. So it makes for a more safer experience because you're able to see those potholes or cracks in the pavement a bit sooner, but also I would say more enjoyable experience because you get to see the world in such complete vividness. Now, another thing to consider is prescription capabilities. Now, Prism Road has been out for quite some time now, a couple years available in prescription but Prism Road Jade and Prism Road Black are now both available in prescription. That's something we're super excited about here at SporterX because we love giving you the ability to see better while doing the activities that you love. I do not mean to be misleading by any means because we do have shield options on the table here. If you want a prescription option with Prism Road lenses, whether that be the original Road Jade or Black, they are available in dual lens frames like the FLAC 2.0 XL. So it's our goal here at SporterX to give you all the information you need to make a confident lens selection here. Now, if I do leave anything out of this video, feel free to put it in the comments section down below, and I'll personally get back to you as soon as possible. Now let's go ahead and get into these lenses. So up first, we have the classic, the OG Prism Road lens. Now, as far as aesthetics go, it has kind of more of, I would say, a red purplish look from the outside, which is super cool. Definitely a unique look there. It does have a rose base though to the lens. So when you have these sunglasses on your face, you're kind of seeing more of a rosy hue in that outside environment. And that really boosts contrast. Now the visible light transmission which is actually the measure of the percentage of light allowed through the lens to your eyes is about 20%. So the way VLT works is if a lens has a higher percent VLT, that means more light is coming through the lens. And if it has a lower VLT percentage, that means it's a darker lens. So on the table here, we're actually moving from lighter lenses to darker lenses. Now the Prism Road is really great, I would say for a variety of conditions. Honestly, it's been around the longest. However, with these new options on the table here, if you're riding in kind of, I would say sunnier conditions, these might be just a tad more optimal and this might just excel the best in overcast. So onto the next lens here, which is Prism Road Jade. This is a really cool green aesthetic to the outside of the lens here, but you still have that rose base for boosted contrast. Now, as far as VLT goes, this has a VLT of 15%, so it's actually kind of middle of the road between these two lenses here on the table. So that means it works in overcast conditions as the sun starts to peek out behind the clouds, but it also works in sunny conditions too. So the third option on the table here is Prism Road Black. So this is the darkest option out of all three lenses here. It's got sort of that black, almost mysterious kind of look to the lens, which I definitely dig. And as far as VLT goes, it is a VLT rating of 11%. So again, darker than Jade and quite a bit darker than Rode here, but you still have that rose base for boosted contrast out on the road. Prism Road Black really excels in super bright and sunny conditions to give your eyes just a little bit more protection overall. But again, you don't lose out on that Prism Contrast Boost. So now that we've covered these lenses individually, we'll go over the similarities and differences as a quick recap. So first off, they all have that Prism Contrast that Oakley is so well known for. That's really just gonna 
add a bit of safety, but also more uh, enjoyment to your riding experience. Now they get that prism contrast boost from that rose base that all of these lenses have. So again, if you have the sunglasses on your face, you're gonna see kind of a more rosy environment. That's just really gonna help you pick up on all the details out on the road. So now moving on to the differences. So overall you have differences in aesthetic here. So obviously different colors between the three lenses. Another difference is VLT. So again, you have a higher VLT, lighter tint lens and moving over to a lower VLT and darker tint lens here with Prism Road Black. So for overall conditions, this excels in sunny bright light environments and this is more optimal for I would say overcast or mixed conditions riding. So in conclusion, all of these lenses here will work very well for all of your road specific needs, whether that be cycling or running. They have the prism contrast boost that you need to have a safer and more enjoyable experience. Now, if you like this type of content, we have tons more content like this, whether it be sunglass roundups or prism lens guides, you can always check out on our channel. And when you subscribe, you'll be the first to know every time that new content comes out. Now, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate that. And you can always leave comments in the comments section down below. There is one last thing I'd like to mention, and that's our See Better Guarantee. So if for any reason you order prescription or non-prescription product from us and you aren't satisfied with it, we'll do everything within our power to make sure that you get exactly what you want. Now, unlike some other online retailers, we don't charge a restocking fee, but if you wanna make sure you get it perfectly right the first time, you can always contact one of our certified opticians on the phones seven days a week or live chat with them on our website at sportrx.com. We have more content just like this right over here. And you can check out all our social media platforms down below, Instagram at sportrx and our website sportrx.com. Later guys.